My name is Joseph Metter and I am the music director here at Concordia Preparatory School. Some of the classes that I teach here, or that we offer I should say, are um, sixth grade band, uh, middle school choir, um, and then seventh and eighth grade band. So those are our middle school music offerings. And then we also have a high school band and a high school choir as well. So I am originally from Plymouth, Wisconsin, um, and I went to Concordia University, Wisconsin. And then I received my uh, call to uh, serve here at Concordia Preparatory School. Um, and it was, uh, 800 miles away was definitely a, a big jump for me, um, but it was, uh, it's been a great experience so far. Um, during virtual school, some of the things that we're doing with um, the band and the choir, um, we are using different programs where we have the kids muted at home, but they get to still hear the full band recording as they're uh, working through that. It has been a, a unique challenge, but the kids have definitely uh, risen to that challenge um, and they've done a great job. Uh, we're still able to maintain that same excellence of uh, performance standards that we would have if we were in the building, um, just in a little bit of a different roundabout way. We have four concerts a year for our high school. We have our fall sampler concert um, around uh, October, and then we also have our winter festival, um, which comes up in December, which we actually just recently recorded here at Concordia Prep. We also have a, um, sac a sacred concert, which is gonna be around February or March, and then we finish the year out with a Pops concert, which is kind of an exciting one that kids get to um, showcase different genres of music that they, we wouldn't normally get in the normal classroom setting. So we kind of get the whole gambit of everything. During these unique times that we've had, uh, we can't necessarily have the same amount of kids in the room because of uh, all the precautions we need to take. So we've actually been having kids outside, which has been our unique uh, experience, especially with in our quad, we have this awesome acoustic uh, zone. They actually get to play for some of their classmates as their classmates are moving from class to class. Um, so that's been one of the ways we've been trying to be innovative uh, during these COVID times. We've also had uh, bell covers on our instruments as well when we have to be in the building. Masks are up as soon as they have to, um, as soon as they're done playing, I should say. If you've never played an instrument before, definitely think about playing an instrument here. I actually have one of my uh, ninth grade students who came in this year that uh, he had, hadn't tr touched a trombone since his fifth grade year. Um, so we used the entire first quarter to get him caught up. And now he jumped in this, uh, this last concert we just recorded. Um, we, he was uh, playing in the band with everybody. Music is not something that you need to have done the, your entire life to be able to participate in here at Concordia Prep. We're gonna find where you will be best supported and where you can get the most enjoyment out of things. And we're gonna uh, meet you where you're at and bring you in into the fold with everything. We don't have a strings program, um, but we offer, um, if you have already been playing a string instrument, to play in all any of our band ensembles. And in fact, I as a band director love having strings in my band ensembles because it helps fill the sound out and it really warms up the sound. In fact, right now in sixth grade band, I have three kids who have previously played violin that are uh, playing here at Concordia Prep. We're still working on their skills and we're also getting them acquainted to the um, band program as well. So you are more than welcome to play uh, a string instrument in one of our ensembles here. One of the things I tell all my band kids is you are, you have gifts and talents that have been given to you by the Lord and we're gonna use those gifts and talents to praise and honor his name. I also love getting to work with our faculty here. Um, we have a very supportive faculty that we become like a, a tight-knit family. I think that uh, echoes over into our students as well um, because they see that all of us teachers enjoy being here and that makes them want to uh, be here as well. Mm -hmm.